but I can see clearly that there is a problem, right? And that problem requires a solution. It's a global problem. And more than a global problem, it's a problem for India, it's a problem for Europe, and it's a problem for the United States. And frankly, it's a problem for all of you in this room, because you're going to have to deal with the problem. And the problem is that we have a planet today where the bulk of production, the bulk of manufacturing, the bulk of value addition is being done in China. And I'm not going to comment on whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. The Chinese have successfully competed against us and achieved it, right? There is, there is a problem with, in my view, there is a problem with the way they do it. They produce, they're very good at producing, they produce the phone in my pocket, they produce the camera, but they do it in non-democratic, coercive conditions. And the problem is that for us, we need to think about production in a democratic environment, production in a non-coercive environment, and we need to be able to compete with them. Meaning, they don't need to give their population political freedom. They can just give them economic freedom and then become the center of production globally. We have to produce and compete with them, and we have to give our people political freedom and economic freedom. So that is really the challenge. I don't see it as, you know, a confrontation with China. China has placed on the table a way of working, a way of production. And I think it is important for the United States, for India, for uh, Europe, to place an alternative system, an alternative method on the table. And I think we owe it to, certainly we owe it to our population, and I think uh, the French and the Europeans owe it to their population, because we are not going to be able to, uh, we're not gonna be able to manage our countries we're not being, going to be able to give students like you jobs without doing that. So to me, it's, a, it's an opportunity to say, can we produce in democratic structures, within democratic frameworks?